which is going to be coming from Schedule 1, Additional Income and Adjustments to Income, Part Number 1, Line Number 3, Business Income or Loss, which we're coming from the Schedule C. The Schedule C is the profit or loss from business, having, in essence, an income statement. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com format income minus expenses. All right, we're looking at business owned and operated by spouses. This is going to provide some problems which you might think of as not an issue at first, but if you look at it a little bit more deeper, then you're saying, hey, there could be some issues here. Why? Because if we have two individuals that are single and then they get married, what happens? The two individual beings become one soul, one entity, both in terms of soul and for taxable entities in general, shown by the fact that they're filing a single tax return, married filing joint status, as opposed to two single or head of household uh, types of statuses. However, if they're going to start a business, usually we think of a business as either being a sole proprietor type of business, in which case you have one owner, which is easy to then calculate for an individual tax return because we could just add, in essence, the income statement on basically a Schedule C. However, if you have a partnership situation, it usually becomes more complicated, more of a problem, even if that partnership is not incorporated or an LLC or an S corporation or anything like that, because now you have two owners, you have to calculate the net income, and then the net income usually needs to be flowing through or somehow populated in usually two different tax returns for the owners of the partnership. So a partnership adds a level of complexity just in terms of the partnership structure so that you can get to the net income, calculate what that is, and then have the distribution, which might not always be easy. It might not just be a 50-50 distribution. You could have five partners with different uh, distributions of net income based on the uh, partnership agreement.